Welcome back to the Garage Sale Hunters. So last episode, we went to get lunch and we ended the episode. So let's continue on with the Bloomington Citywide Garage Sales. Let's go check it out. A little trolling motor here. Once I get my kayak, I'll get a trolling motor and a net. Nice suitcases. Look at this horse. What about this phone? I'll be right there. Only so much at a time. That's wood. That's a old school smoker. Matt, here's your phone. Let's check it. Seventy-five cents. Dude. I need a new cell phone. This is a pretty good price. So I'm gonna. I think I'll check if T-Mobile will let me convert to this. Probably use this. Oh, nope. oh yeah, the empty CD case. Yeah, how'd you know? Bob Seeger. This is a really good sound glass, but that's really faded, so we're gonna pass on that. Some other beer glasses here, I'm gonna not get. $50 for the Pillsbury cookie jar. There's the Green Giant cookie. Oh. Not cookie jars, they're gumball machines. Ten bucks for that mirror, not too bad. It's good for my area. This doesn't really open. Coke bowl. Not gonna be able to sell that. A lot of shoes out this one. Those are kind of cool. This might be Budweiser. If it is, that's a really good deal. It is Budweiser. There's not a lot on it to make it Budweiser. Oh, it's... I don't know if I'm going to buy that or not. Mail and roll plates. Five bucks each. There's a lot of them here. Do that again. That's your first scotch you ever drank? Yeah. Was, was it good? No. It was good. Did he find out the sprinkler system? Not. Yes. yes, we did. Did you? Every night. Dwayne um, fired ours up last night and I had man. Oh, boy. I was wondering if you could borrow any guys there. Who's? Yours. The small one? Ours is too big, honey. I, I can talk These to decanters are $10 know. each from McCormick, made in the 1970s. Some of them, like Billy the Kid and Jesse James, are part of the Gunfighter series, and some of these sell for like $30 each. These aren't a bad deal. Wait, the shoe on there, that's pretty cool. I want that for myself, getting too old to put my shoes on. There's Bambi. Twenty bucks, probably not too bad of a deal. Not for resale. I don't see any cracks in it, which helps the value. That's kind of cool, but this is hot too. I like that. Any good books? I do. This might be the best free box yet. You need those? Fifty cents a butterfly. Actually, it's kind of cool. I don't know if I could. I have these on the We'll get it. Okay. Got a picture frame. Picture frame. It's kind of cool. We have a jump rope here. Oh, random guado. <laughs> I correct you, but I'm not really sure what it is either. Pants for the kids? Maybe. Or text the wife? We'll see. We'll see you text her? 
toy pipe. Nothing better than teaching the kids how to smoke early in life. Okay. Decorative horse. Five bucks. Some long. Kind of cool. Got a cool little play stand. This is probably empty. Five bucks. They feel empty. And they are. Got a lathe here for $650. No clue if that's a good deal, but. A lot of tools at this one. Sell for about $3. Big old generator there. That's pretty cool. This tin sign here and mirror are five bucks each, but Strolls is not the most collectible beer out there, and the Miller Lite generic Super Bowl mirrors don't really sell very fast or for very much, so I'm going to pass on both of them. Here we got some PPI tins. Uh, PPI is precision power, and they make nice speakers for cars and other vehicles. I always see these cast iron Civil War toys in movies. Now I see some here. They're kind of cool, but I'm, I don't need them. Took me a little bit to open it, but this is United States Air Force Ring. Be kind of cool to see if we could get it back to the owner. Got a bunch of vintage keys here. Um, this is five bucks. Probably worth it. Some of these are highly collectible, and you can see other lots of keys like this on eBay sell for anywhere from like 30 to to $100, but I'm not going to take the time to individually price all of them. $175 for a kayak. That's really good. Man, I want a kayak. Still no room to put it though. Bunch of chaos CDs. Mary Lambert. I'm sure it's stuff you love. Stuff cow. The 1988 Budweiser Clydesdale dartboard here was a really good find for three bucks. Unfortunately, it's pretty damaged. Not too bad, but you see this side here, it kind of curves inward. There's a huge crack on the inside. Um, I can't find this one on eBay too much. There's one listed for 150 bucks. it's not selling. Other dart boards like this from Budweiser sell between 15 and 75 bucks. so I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet. I might sell it to my dad. Here's that Miller Lite Vikings mirror I got for $8. Of course, they're the home team, NFL team around here, so this should sell pretty well. I didn't see too many online. Uh, I did see one selling for $31, so I got it for $8. I'll probably sell it for $25. It should sell pretty quick, especially if I put it out during the football season. All right, guys, so I hope you had fun with us today. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right here or right here. Maybe Ooh. Both. Oh, both. Uh, also, like us on Facebook. Right there. And a little update. I did sell those baseball cards, but I did something wrong, and Forrest has kind of told you guys this before. So I went to a website that told you what cards were on there and what their value was. But value has nothing to do with what you can sell it for. I went to eBay and saw that basically it was going to sell for the same price I bought it for. So at the time I would have never bought it, but I put it on Facebook Market. Someone bought it for $15, so I made $10 off those cards. Just was a lot more work than I was hoping for. Works fun. Till next time, remember, take down those signs.